of my hobbies is I race mountain bikes and I still do it at 82. So there's a disconnect between my saying I'm injured and what people see. Well, my name is Tom O'Brien and I live just south of Boston in a town called Northeastern. My first life was a school teacher and in 1981, I got a job in the computer industry. I retired at 63, and that was 20 some years ago. My daughter was working for a big company in New York, so I would go to New York and spend time with her. She had a doctor's appointment that day, and I was in town just having a nice time. Parked the car, found myself on a street where there was an enormous crane working two blocks down from where I parked. Uh, biggest crane that I had ever seen. I got out of the car and, and took some pictures of the crane. Got back in the car, sat down, waited. My daughter was gonna be gone for 20 minutes and suddenly the world went dark. I woke up in an ambulance uh, with my daughter crying next to me, and I was conscious for a minute or two, and then I was unconscious again and woke up in Bellevue. That's where I got my initial medical treatment. The base station of the crane was literally lifted up at the same time it was pushing me down 450 feet away. So the pressure my head took which was the only impact area, was substantial. This shows what it did to my head. You can see how it created trauma down my neck. So I was pretty beat up, but I was alive. The majority of my problematic issues were internal. I've got pressure in the head every waking moment, and the management of that pressure is impacted by triggers that happen externally, and when those triggers happen and that pressure gets out of hand, I become disoriented, argumentative, lose my balance, my vision gets impaired. All of these things come down on me like a ton of bricks. The result was I had a mild traumatic brain injury. That diagnosis did not happen until I got to Spalding a year and a half later, and that was a frustrating journey. Photobiomodulation is a type of neuromodulation. It's a way to modulate brain function I am a enormous believer that this technology has opened the door to a more pleasant life. I sit down and he has this helmet-like device and it's connected to a, a terminal and he takes the head device and runs the wires, gets it set on my head. It feels like heat, not uncomfortable at all. The Treatment in its initial stages was maybe 12 minutes. First three weeks, my experience was, gee, not much happened. One day I put the helmet on and suddenly I said to him, wait a minute, the pressure in my head, it's not there right now. I haven't felt like this in over eight years. You're not reacting the same way. You're not going to bed as often. You seem more upbeat. And that was the day the magic presented itself. My story has the potential to help thousands of people. I am going to have quality of life rather than challenged life moving forward. So Dr. Cassano, Thank you. You've really changed my life.